The Series 2000 takes up very little space in your garage or workshop and is set up in no time at all. The legs fold up for transportation and storage and are very quick to unfold. The stand is remarkably stable, even if the ground isn't level. You fit your own power saw to a mounting chassis using quick release clamps. You can also fit your router, jigsaw and planer using optional accessories. We'll show these later. Everything on the Series 2000 is quick, easy and user friendly. So in about 30 seconds you're ready to go with a high precision, big capacity table saw or a cross cut saw for dealing with long heavy pieces. An overhead router they're great for cabinets and shelves. Another quick conversion and you've got a shaper table for professional edges on your furniture. And a jigsaw table for better control and visibility. Or a finisher for clean, true faces on all your work. Need to do some rounding over? With an optional sanding disc, it's a faceplate sander as well. As you'll see, the amazing Series 2000 Triton Work Centre does all these jobs and much more and it does them all exceptionally well. So if you already have some power tools and would love to be able to use them accurately, safely and creatively, then have a look at how you can make them really perform. Assembling the basic work centre takes less than half an hour and no special tools are required. We provide a comprehensive assembly and operation manual with lots of illustrations and a detailed step-by-step -step assembly video to make it easy for you. Fitting your power saw is also easy because the mounting chassis adjusts to suit all saws from 184mm or 7.25 inch to 235mm or 9.25 inch. While you can fit just about all makes and models of saw, we'll be using the Triton saw. It was designed specifically for bench mounting and has many unique features which we'll show you shortly. Once you've got the saw correctly lined up, a half turn of the clamp knobs and the saw can be quickly removed, if for some reason you need it for handheld use. When refitting the saw, these clamp bases make sure it always goes back into exactly the same spot. And these cams, for use only with the Triton saw, make the alignment and fitting process even simpler. First off, let's check it out in the table saw mode. So flip the saw upside down, fit the table, and lock the chassis firmly underneath to stop it from sliding. It's as easy as this. Fit the safety guard using the quick action lock and you're just about ready to go. The trigger of the saw is locked on with the strap provided and the saw and an extension cord are plugged into the Triton switch box. The Series 2000 work center has a phenomenal rip capacity from 0 to 620 mil from the blade. That's over 24 inches. Quick action lever locks and highly accurate calibration scales make it easy and positive. You control the power from the safety switch on the front panel and you've got a table saw with an incredible rip capacity. Large sheets of particle board or plywood are no problem so you can make your own cupboards and wardrobes easily and accurately. When you're finished, no need to fumble for the switch just bump off the power with your knee. Notice how the two pieces just sat there after the cut rather than tipping off the end of the table. Well, underneath the safety guard, two flexible pressure fingers hold the work firmly down on the table during and after the cut. They're really useful when ripping thin or narrow material because they stop the wood being lifted up by the back of the blade and so reduce the chance of kickback. The see-through safety guard is mounted on a splitter to keep the wood from binding on the back of the blade, even if the cut wants to close up, as is happening here. When you're ripping narrow pieces, this excellent safety component slides on the fence and pushes the work through, keeping your hands well clear of the blade. It's safer and easier than using a normal push stick, and you can get into a very narrow gap between the blade and the fence. And it's very convenient, always to hand, Another great safety component clips onto your mitre gauge. It's a flexible pressure finger that when extended presses your work against the fence. You apply the pressure just in front of the blade and then lock the mitre gauge down to the table. What could be easier? With the wood being held against the fence and pushed from behind, you can safely rip narrow pieces with total confidence. 
By simply reversing the rip fence, you can bevel rip at 45 degrees. The adjustable guides at the bottom of the fence keep control of the workpiece and the offcut. You can cut pieces of any length, up to about 500 mil or 20 inches wide. The instruction manual shows you how to handle even smaller pieces. And if you wanted an angle other than 45 degrees, or if you're working on an awkward piece, you'd probably convert to the crosscut mode. That's coming up shortly. The unique Triton mitre gauge has three working faces with non-slip surfaces for better grip. It gives you a handsome crosscut capacity, about 350 mil or 14 inches wide. It's great when you're crosscutting pieces of manageable size. With a Triton saw blade and a saw in reasonable condition, you can cut perfect mitres without any splintering in most types of moulding. The second working face is exactly 90 degrees to the first one, so you can cut the reverse angle with the moulding sitting down flat, good face up. Much safer, a cleaner cut, and best of all, any two pieces cut on the adjacent faces will always form an immaculate 90 degree mitre joint, guaranteed. 